it's been a while since I've addressed inorganic mounts and before the season is over, let's have a look at them while they are starting to show signs so that I can do an after update when the season is done to see how the progress of the roots is throughout the coming months. So if you don't know about my inorganic mounts, there will be a link to the playlist in my description below how I came about them. Thank you, Michael McCarthy, the instigator, and how they have evolved, what orchids I decided to put on and why. And this is an update now to show you how they're doing. And this is me just giving them a quick little bit of a misting so that they can have a nice little bit of humidity around them before it is bedtime. So I'm gonna get you on a tripod and I'm just gonna go through them and show you how they've progressed since these orchids have been mounted on these mounts and it's been a year. Thank you so much for joining me. I appreciate your company. Let's get started because there's a lot going on and I'm hoping that progress report in a couple of months will be even better. This is my Brasabola lageralis and she was a zombie. She only had a rhizome and it was almost like, yeah, there was nothing gonna happen. But I thought for the sake of experimenting, I'm gonna put her on the mount because she had started to produce two new growths last year. She had no roots whatsoever. And look at her go. Look at her go. Now I have lots of roots and I have one and two new growths coming. If that was in focus, but you can see the new growths. That's amazing. And if I turn her around, that is amazing as well. Very, very careful with this orchid. The roots are coming around the back. I'm going to be sewing another pocket of hob material around the back to protect those so that she doesn't get bashed by any kind of wind or anything. But this is working really, really well, in my opinion. I'm liking it a lot. Full recovery in 12 months. My dendrobium of film cakeys. I put four on here last year and they had some roots which are yeah, past their prime but still doing their job. And every single cakey is developing a new growth. So there will be new roots coming and those are the ones we're going to be monitoring and how they're going to fare with this hob material because when I mounted the initial four keikis, the roots had already established and they didn't actually have time to really, really go into the material, but I think they're going to be fine. Here, I had already sewed a pocket on in the back just to be prepared. You can see some roots are trying to make it through the back. Pop material, perfect, fine roots. Ninja orchid root grade scale. That would be a one, which is perfect for the fine, fine consistency of hob material. Let's go on to the Dendrobium unicum, which I bought as a replacement. And I left it on the cork slab that it came with because the roots were so fine, I wasn't going to do any destroying of the roots. So I've got sort of a hybrid thing going on. This would be called a Michael mount because it only comprises the scrubby pad. Ninja Orchid Root Grade Scale 1, perfect. Also works really, really well. I've got that one growth right here, still growing. I've got a second growth coming right here. Roots are coming out now, which is awesome. We can monitor those. And I've got two some things developing at the base of the cane. So supposedly this is going to be an unicum. If these are keikis, that's fine, but I would love to see what this really is. This one is going to be one to watch as it's on a Michael mount. My root grade scale, this one is about a three. Thicker roots, fine scrubby pad. This is my Dendrobium anosmum and I've let it bloom. Surprise, surprise, I got blooms. So <laughs> three blooms on the anosmum on a Michael mount, not too shabby haven't quite opened yet, but 
the new growth is coming along nicely. The question is now when the roots will develop and we will be monitoring those and to see how they respond to the fine, fine, more denser material of the scrubby pad. But the orchid itself, well, I don't see any canes desiccating beyond what they can't handle and what they wouldn't normally do. So I'm going to continue with this one on a Michael melt. This is the reverse of my Dendrobium polyanthum. The roots went straight through. I even sewed on a little pocket in the back for added humidity. And the roots that were protruding from the first layer have gone straight through and into the outdoors of the second layer of that pocket. This is a ninja mount. I didn't mention that before, but this is the hob material, which then evolved from the scrubby pad. A little bit looser, less dense, but polyanthum is growing three new growths. It's a very vigorous orchid. So I'm expecting maybe two or three more growths than this, but here we have the start. And look at all those buds. Michael McCarthy, you were right. In my end of May tour, I saw two, maybe three bumps and you counted nine. Well, we've surpassed that and I'm thinking 11 because these three were not here when I looked at it this morning. <laughs> Polyanthum, beautiful white blooms, fragrant like licorice. It's gonna be okay. This beautiful creature is Dendrobium exile, which was on a mount with sphagnum moss. Then the poor thing had to be potted up because I thought it was going to grow upright as opposed to pendant. Oh, this poor thing's been through the ringer, but it is doing fabulous since I've put it on just the scrubby pad and I've never removed it from its first support ever. Now it's pretty much bare root, but you can see how beautifully the roots are growing in and they are starting to branch back here. I love this orchid. Beautiful little white blooms. Their fragrance is that of a very, very fancy talcum powder. Absolutely divine. So we'll be monitoring this one, but I can see already this is going to be perfect. It'll be all right. How about this for a serving of Eonopsis popcorn haruri? I have stopped counting how many growths I've got. There's some that are maturing. There are some that are just starting again. Oh, wonderful. Eonopsis popcorn haruri also, very fine roots. It's sort of a hybrid between Michael and Ninja Mount. So the scrubby pad is in the back for the added humidity. And then I've just added some hob material around this side where sphagnum moss used to be, fluffed it up a little bit tacked it on with some fishing line, and it's working a treat. Yes, I'm appreciating this little hybrid here very, very much, and the orchid seems to be loving it as well. Those roots are just going nuts. Looking forward to seeing some of the beautiful little pink and yellow blooms. Dendrobium unicum that I know is a true unicum because here we have the gorgeous blooms, super long lasting, and they really do smell beautifully. Sugar candy jellies of orange flavor. Very, very cool. So it's new growth. It's sort of progressing. I don't have new roots yet. So that's what I'm waiting for on this one because I want to know how the roots will adapt to the hob material. and. I can't honestly say whether it's going to grow anymore because as far as I'm concerned, that looks like it's done. Very, very small, but you know, understandable. It's been blooming. It's trying to push a new growth. I do need new roots though. So I'm gonna take those blooms off and then see how it recovers because I don't want this one to tax itself. I need this one to survive because my replacement unicum, I'm not entirely sure that it is a unicum but it is holding on. And if that little growth can provide us some roots, then we can observe and see how they can handle this material here. I believe this is another Brassavola flagellaris. It could be a tuberculata. I've lost the tag, which is a shame. I don't know how that can happen, to be honest, because my tags are normally so secure, but well, you can see that I've sewn another pocket onto the back 
and I'm being very cautious because these root tips are delicate and my hands and oils make them stop growing. So there's a root tip up here I have to be cautious of. But if you look in through here, you can see how the roots are doing inside this pocket. Very, very well, I would say. And there's another one up over the top in here that I'm not sure if I can show you without any damage. There it is. Gorgeous, I like it. Anyway, whichever Brassavola this is, it is doing superbly. It is growing new roots. You can see the older mount that I had it on prior just attached to the newer mount, but the new roots are just a treat. And it's growing new growth as well, as if it's coming out of fashion. It is already going to be maturing two growths for me which, you know, kind of developed over late winter, early spring. I believe we might get lucky to see a bloom. That'd be cool. But it's already working on new growth right off out of the gate again. New growth, new roots, possibly going to bloom. I would say that this one really likes its mount. So pretty much in the early part of the growing season, the inorganic mounts, Michael mounts, Ninja mounts, are showing signs of proving their worth. I hope that you found this interesting. I am so looking forward to seeing how things progress from here on in, and also forward to some blooms. Have yourselves a wonderful day, everybody. I appreciate your time. Thank you so much for watching. Please stay safe and take care. Bye.